100 welcome back to my channel it has been quite some time since I've made a sister locked update video I have made some update videos on my skin and my Accutane journey that was for the last six months and that's been a journey in itself and so I have not been updating on my hair I didn't do that on purpose that's just sometimes I don't have much to say about my hair and it really is these updates that I can put on on my, my channel that it's actually going to be worth watching so that's why I haven't done anything but I do want to maybe try some different things in 2018 that still has to do with locks and um, maintenance and um, styles and other different ideas so I'm definitely looking to see how I can um, revamp the channel to make it geared towards different types of things when it comes to your lock journey so so be patient with me but I'm back and I'm still here I just haven't been posting as much but I promise to do better secondly um it seems like you guys are still liking my channel because every other week or every other day I'm getting messages about um new subscribers so welcome to my channel um thank you for joining me um thank you for you know coming along this journey with me I hope you've enjoyed the content so far if you have any ideas or different things that you would like to see feel free to leave your comments below um, because I'm definitely always looking for new ideas and different things to do on the channel that will help it be better um, so welcome third I have what 986 subscribers I mean to some that might not be nothing but for little old me that's a lot because I'm almost at 1,000 I think that's amazing um, and I don't know if you all are joining because of my hair or because of my Accutane I don't know but whatever it is welcome thank you for subscribing um, so what I'm gonna do is when I hit a thousand so right now I'll start shopping for different things I'm going to do a giveaway I think it's only fitting if you get to a thousand subscribers subscribers that you do some type of giveaway and it will be lock based so it'll probably be some 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 products I've used along my journey that I really like or um some lock tools or some some hair stuff that I know that I've used or would like to use like you know some tools to curl my hair because y'all know I'm the goddess of curls um so I will definitely do a giveaway and I might just do a separate video showing you what the giveaway is and how to um join the giveaway and what you need to do so that you can be in the running for that but that'll be a separate video that I'll post later um so thank you all for that and thank you for being on this journey with me let me jump into my update so um for those of you who are have been following my journey this is my fourth year seven month update like i'm that's bad if i haven't updated in seven months <laughs> sorry 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 but i'll do better or i'll try to do better that's the point just to try to do better so yeah this is my four year seven month update um i'm gonna talk about maybe some of the products that i've been using a lot of my products have not changed they have remained the same if you've been following me since day one you know that i'm a minimalist when it comes to products that i use in my hair just because i don't want product build up i don't like to use too many things and i'm trying to make my journey as natural as possible well i colored my hair so of course that's not natural but natural as far as using products i don't want to use too much too much in my hair and i don't want any build up in my locks so i try not to use too many things I'm still using the Carol's Daughter shampoo. I'm not using um, Sister Lock shampoos anymore. And there's really no reason for that. I just kind of wanted to try something different. Um, so I'm using the Carol's Daughter um, black vanilla shampoo. It's so fake free. I love the smell. It gives me a good lather. So I think I'll stick with that product. Have you guys used it? Are you guys using it? What are your thoughts about it? Because I like it so far and I've been using it for the last couple of months, I think. And I may do an update and I may not, but I like it. So if you are using it, tell me what you like about it. And whenever I use it, I always dilute my shampoos. I don't just put them straight on my scalp. I put it in a little water bottle. I put some water in the bottle and then that's what I, I utilize on my hair um for moisture i use the sister like moisturizing conditioner i've always used them i actually went and used something else and went back to them because i really like how my hair feels after i've used it so that's what i'm using for conditioner um, as far as keeping moisture in my locks, i try to use some oils every now and then i try not to use too much because i like when my hair has a lot of body i always, always had that problem when i was a loose natural whenever i put oils on my hair like you know the fullness just goes 
So I try not to use too many oils, but when I do feel like my hair needs that extra moisture, I will use some lock oils that I have. Nothing too too extravagant, nothing too big or too 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 thick, or that will um make my hair too heavy. So I have like a lock moisture that I I have um that I use. So aside from that, um that's it. I don't use anything else on my hair. Um, I typically try to keep it as natural as possible. Um, I think that's it. I don't have anything much else to say about my locks. Um, no more squiggly ends. I have a couple that are still there that I'm not cutting off. Y'all know it. a lot of people came at me was like, oh, why are you, why are you, you know, snapped your ends? It's just, I didn't like it. <laughs> but I'm not doing that anymore because I think after I colored it, you know, my ends opened up a little bit, but they're now going back to just looking like regular locks, so I'm okay with that. Um, my next thing we'll, I'll do is a length check, but before I do that, I'll do a 360 so you guys can really see how my hair is doing. Your girl got a lot of hang time now, you know, it's, so I have like my length now is past my shoulder blades and then a little bit more towards my bust area. So it's, it's inching down, you know, pretty soon it'll be right here. It'll take some time before we get there, but the, the growth is, is really tremendous and you can actually see it if you watch some of my other videos. So this is the right side. I hope you guys can see now the true length of the back. That's where you see when I do the left and the right um, shots. Um, so that's what it looks like right now from the right side. My hair is pretty much probably to my collarbone, if not a little bit longer. This is the back. This is a true depiction on how the hair looks. It's pretty long now and I'm, I'm loving it. This is the left side. And then back to the front, of course. So now the next thing I need to do is a length check. So um, last time I did a length check, it was for my four years. The, t the, the left was eight and a half to 12 inches. The right was nine inches to 11 inches. The top was 11 inches to about 11 and a half inches. And then the back was 10 and a half to about 12. Um, I do have a measuring tape now. Remember, I told you all that ruler was getting a little too short and I wasn't going to be able to measure my hair because if it grew past 12 inches, I would have been short. I did get a measuring tape. This one's cool. Um, I think I could get a better one because it doesn't really stay. Um, but I'm going to be using this now to measure my hair. We'll see how it does. If not, I'll get another one. I do have another one that's more um, not like this. So we'll see. Um, so we're going to start with, start with the top of my hair. Remember we had um, top was about 11 inches. I need to put my glasses on just because I need to be able to see what's happening on the screen. And if I can grab a good one. So this is on the top. Mm. So let's see how that looks. This one is about 11 and a half. Um, remember we had eight and a half and 12. So It's about 11 and a half <laughs> so remember the top we would get 11 to about 11 and a half it seems like 11 and a half for maybe the um the parts where it was 11 has grown half an inch and then the one that was 11 and a half I don't know where it's at so I can't tell you how long it is now but that's the top let's do the right the shortest one that I had was about nine inches so we're gonna grab another one to see how long it is now That one's about 10 over a little bit, uh, like 10 and a quarter. Let's see this one. Ten and a quarter. That one is about 12 and a quarter. So the top or well, the right now we have about 10 and a quarter to about 12 inches, 12 and a quarter. So we see it's probably grown a little bit, maybe an inch worth in seven months. 
Now we'll do the, the right or the left. The left we had eight and a half to about 12 inches. Um, now we're gonna look to see how, how long it is now. That one is about eight and a half, no, nine and a half inches. So remember we had eight and a half as the shortest. Hopefully we can get grab one that's 12 inches. I don't know. Let's see how that goes. This is a pretty long one. We'll see how that goes. That's about over 12. So that seems pretty good. We're gonna do the back right quick. looks like it's about 11 and a half we're gonna do one more and then that'll be the reading for the back remember you never can I can never grab the same one twice so hopefully I get a good one that'll give me a good reading oh this one's gonna be kind of hard but hopefully I can show you all that that one's a pretty long one. That one's about 12 and 3 quarters. So the back has grown a lot. It seems like overall my hair has grown quite a bit in the last seven months. So those are the readings. It looks like the shortest might be 9 and then um, the longest a little over 12, close to 13 inches. So that is my update for my four years, seven months. I promise to do better, guys. So I'm hoping you all enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try to think of some new things for this year. But if you have any ideas, suggestions, put them down below. Let me know what you think. And let me know how you guys are doing in your journeys. And give me ideas on things that you might want to see in this upcoming year. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.